Selena, when are you putting me in drag? That's the big question. Oh my God, when are you ready, honey? You gotta shave, honey. We gotta shave you, we gotta shave everything. You down for that? Because yes. you give one of those queens who don't wear body, honey. You, she gives one of those queens who just shows her legs and her bitch, okay? So I know you know how to do that. We watched all those girls walk the carpet this morning, oh, right? We did. Watch all the girls walk the carpet. I really feel like you were one of the girls that got the loudest cheers. We were all so excited to see you strut your stuff, mama. Oh, you yes. No, I really do think so. That's crazy. You know, it was fun because it's a long runway. So every leg, there was more and more cheers. And I would be like, oh my, oh my God. Every, it's like kind of like the second hole, you know? <laughs> I entered like the seventh hole, bitch, at the runway. I was living. <laughs> Those walls were screaming. <laughs> Uh, this is why I love you. I love everything about you. So obviously this is your first drag con, being a Rue girl. Correct. And what has this experience been like? Oh my God, it's been beautiful. It's been nonstop because I'm here to, I'm a hustler, baby. I'm here to work. So I'm in my booth. I am meeting all my children. Baby, there are a lot of moms coming in. There are little babies coming in and they all love the titties. And they, they, they love the titties. And I, I'm just, I'm so honored and grateful, you know? I love it. Yes. Well, I gotta tell you, you brought such good vibes. I mean, the second that we saw you on the show, you made us laugh. I always say to everybody, free Willy! Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> free Willy, whoosh! Because honestly, you gave us just so many iconic moments. You know, when you look back and see that the fans really embraced you and mm. fell in love with you and support you, like, how good does that make you feel? It literally makes me want to cry, because I am, it's the reason why I, I want to keep going. You know what I mean? Without them, uh, who knows, I'll be back at In-N-Out Burger. But <laughs> because of them, I'm here hustling, and they are living for it, and they see themselves in me, the representation's there, so it's fills my heart and my titties. <laughs> Which we love to see. Now, girl, we know you're all about the manifestation. Uh -huh. We've been manifesting that ego for a hot minute. Uh -huh. I mean, are we not? I didn't get anything. <laughs> I got a golden boot. I did get that golden boot hoodie. Yes. <laughs> but what's great is you are pursuing your dreams in real time. And you know, oh. we always say the race starts after the race is done, after the show ends, right? Can I tell you my secret plan? Yes. Okay, so I don't know if they're gonna ask me back to All Stars, about when or if or when, manifestation, they Absolutely. Do. What my plan is, is to, uh, now that I have this platform, my career, I want to be, I want to do my own interview show. I want to do my own acting comedy shows. I want to do my own um, lip sync remixes. I'm going to do everything outside of Drag Race. So when I go to All Stars, I'll be like, baby, I already succeeded in the real world. Hello. All the fans saw I did this, this, and this. Let's play and give me that crown. Period. <laughs> well, and I'm sure you would agree. It's amazing to see how many girls out there that have not won the show, but they are legends. They have oh built careers goodness. for themselves. Like this oh, show yeah. gives you the platform. Valentina was right here, bitch. I almost, I almost fell out. Yes. And she's the RuPaul of Mexico. Right, right. I mean, hello. It's true though. Uh, ole. Ole. <laughs> Oh my God, I cannot with you. <laughs> but yes, like it's amazing just being on the show a couple, one time, two times. Literally, the world is your oyster after that. Yes, and you know, they always say, RuPaul even says it's what you guys do with it afterwards, and I plan on taking it by both of the and and riding it till the horses come home, you know? <laughs> Period. Well, I know for me, if I can manifest, I want to see you part of the cast of RuPaul's Drag Race live in Vegas. We got to make that happen. That would be so much fun, but you know, I, I don't know. The slot machines will get me, bitch. Yeah. I sit there, I, I like to play the Wizard of Oz one, honey, and Dorothy be taking my coins. <laughs> Okay, well, if that doesn't work out, you could do the brothels, too. Those are next oh, door. See, I'm good at brothels. Yeah. Okay, that I can do. <laughs> I love it. I want to find some... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I try to find that other police song. Okay? <laughs> no, listen, as you should. Well, while you do that, I'll start shaving, and we'll start okay, that process we as well. Go. So You're going to help. You're going to be my wing woman, okay? Period. House of S titties. We're going to work, oh, baby. So Ricky S titties.